So here's a video on our uh, construction for a uh, had to make our own manifold to put a turbo on a slant six, and based on the calculations, not wanting any turbo lag, we wanted a uh, T3 T4 hybrid. So basically, a turbine's a T3 with a T4 compressor. So we basically got a. Uh, it's probably an eBay turbo. It's not a real good one, but we got a swap meet for about a hundred bucks. And if nothing else, we're going to use it to mock up and allowed us to disassemble it, uh, put it in place. Some of the blue pieces you're seeing in the plastic are actually from Ice Engine Works, which allows you to build a kit basically like stacking Legos together. They have three different radius and a few straight pieces and this allowed us to mock up several different iterations of how the pipes are going to go trying to achieve equal length header if we could despite trying to get around starter, air conditioning and power steering and to try to get all six cylinders to merge together. I uh, bought a pre-built um, six into one merge collector and probably saved us quite a bit of time but uh, still made some clearance issues so we had to modify what we had bought for a merge collector to actually get the turbo to set a little bit lower getting away from the uh, master cylinder and to get the exhaust gases to actually flow out the car Okay, so ice engine works and start of the header. I'm gonna bring them all together and up for T4 flange. It's actually a T3 turbo going on. We'll build it for bigger in case I want to go bigger. So for the head flange, and we actually tried two different manufacturers before we found one that we could make work. The better of the two, we still needed to weld up smaller so that it actually would fit the head and be a small enough port to allow the gasket to seal. So here we're trying to uh, mock up getting the uh, merge collector in there. Uh, you might be able to notice that the uh, Wastegate port actually goes back in towards the engine. That's because of the power steering box is so large, you uh, there wasn't room there, and the downpipe has to come down um, towards the back. So the only option was towards the engine, and then we looped it back underneath.
This car was equipped with a dual exhaust uh, Clifford headers. Um, and then with the turbo, we thought, let's keep the dual. And uh, that's why our wastegate is a remote one. And actually, this turbo is one of the smallest where you kind of have the option. Either way, you get any bigger, and you're going to run a remote wastegate anyway. So what we'd have is um, turbo side of the car is actually sporting a 2.5 inch pipe. And then the wastegate uh, plumbed in as an inch and three quarter, dropping to the uh, passenger side. And then here's some thermal camera work, uh, seeing how how well that blended as it went back to its uh, crossover pipe, and confirming our results. And uh, the wastegate is mounted probably in the worst possible place, but because it is the size of stock exhaust for a slant six. It actually is uh, controls the turbo just fine. And thanks for watching.